Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to your June monthly readings for each and every zodiac sign, yeah? Um, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I use, I was doing readings bi-monthly for the zodiac signs, but that has become too taxing, okay? It's a lot, a lot of work, and I have a lot going on um, in life, so I have to really pull it back a little bit. So instead of doing bi-monthlies, I'm just going to do it once a month for each zodiac sign. However, I am adding some extra oracle guidance into the readings. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for some time now. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. For this month, I will be pulling, I will be using, um, you know, the traditional Tarot deck. I have the Arcanum deck that I'm using this month. But then for Oracle Guidance, I'm going to be pulling Action Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brobs. I love this deck because mainly I love, I just love unicorns. And then we have um, Spiritual Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck by Alana Fairchild, okay? I'm, I'm really so happy to be doing it this way. Um, I actually wanted to add Oracle Guidance into it for some time now, but because it was bi-monthly and it was so much work to begin with, I didn't want to make the readings longer um, and take more time than I had to. But now because I'm doing this, you know, once a month, I'm definitely going to be keeping this Oracle Guidance in. I may switch it up. I think I am going to stick with the Crystal Mandala Oracle for spiritual guidance, but I may change over when it comes to action, uh, physical guidance from the oracles. Okay, I am available for private readings. Um, all of the information for that is in the description box below. So if anything resonates with you and you want to get a deeper understanding of it, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me and we can chat a little bit and I can schedule you and all and everything like that. Um, payments are through PayPal. I will send you a uh, an invoice from PayPal and we can do that. As soon as payment is secure, I will be able to uh, schedule your reading officially. Um, and just in case anyone was wondering if you are in the New York City area or you will be in the New York City area anytime soon, I am still doing readings at Om Shanti Bookstore. I'm sorry, bookshop in um, Manhattan on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The website is in the description box below. Um, if you do want to get a reading with me there, I highly recommend that you call ahead of time and schedule the reading. I am there every Monday from 11 to 5. Um, scheduling it that way will ensure that you get your reading um, at the time that you want. Otherwise, if you walk in, you know there's a risk that I may not be available at that moment or whatever, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, that these are general readings, all right? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And please do not try to fit something in where you know it doesn't belong, okay? If something doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. Um, and also, if you know you're in the reading and you're getting in there and it does, it's not really resonating with you and you've been watching it for a few moments and it's still not resonating with you, just move forward. I do encourage you guys to check out not only your sun sign, but your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Your sun sign um, is, you know, it is like the main thing, sure, but then watching your moon and your rising, at least, can help you get more information. And like, if you don't resonate with your sun sign, then you might resonate with your moon and rising. And then also, if you're looking for love guidance, I would highly recommend that you check out your Venus sign, okay? You could not, you may not resonate with any of them except for one, you know? So like, just check it out, see how you feel and see what resonates. And I believe that's all, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the readings. <laughs> Sajimataz, welcome to your reading for June 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Let's get into this, y'all. All right, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Sagittarius for this time period of June 2018. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Sagittarius. Now, as soon as I started um, connecting with your energy, I just saw fire. <laughs> just fire, fire, fire everywhere. Um, and the King of Cups just popped out and just got my attention. Um, there could be someone around you that is really fiery about you. You're really wanting to reach out and speak some sort of truth, I'm hearing. Which is cool. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius. All right. Let's get into this. All right, Sagittarius. Overall energy, we have the hanged man. Okay. So some of you are, so you're probably in a period of um, self-imposed suspension. But again, but keep in mind that this, and this is upright, so this is a good thing. So what you're doing is you're trying to find a new perspective on something. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Nine of Cups. So um, I am seeing a, a halt. Um, this suspension is like, in this suspension, you're not, you're not really putting forth much effort towards things. Um, I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, though, you might be doing a lot of communication with others. So you may not be doing anything really, um, making any, taking any effort physically, but I see, I see you getting advice, okay, getting advice from others. Um, but I also see, and, and, and this is in terms of some sort of wish that you have, some sort of wish that you want fulfilled. You're not really taking the action steps yet with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, but you are um, learning. You're getting the advice. You're getting the counsel, um, the benefit, the opinions of others in order to, you know, gain this new perspective so that you can move forward towards whatever this wish fulfillment is for you. Moving on in your storyline, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay, this has been coming up a lot in these Zodiac readings um, today. Um, this is the release of illusion, the release of wishful thinking, the release of having multiple options with the Queen of Wands. So, um, uh, Sagittarius, this is you, okay? Uh, it could be you. Um, in the Queen of Wands, it's, this is a fire sign. This could be another fire sign in your life. Or this could be someone cross-watching for you. Um, and I'm seeing two different things here, mainly. Um, the first the, the first thing I saw was with the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Wands, someone has put has decided to stop play, being a player and go after whoever this Queen of Wands is. This could be you, Sagittarius, or this could be someone else and you're going after them. Like, this is a feminine energy, okay? Whoever is going after this Queen of Wands, this Queen of Wands is a feminine energy. Uh, uh, Sagittarius, this could also be you in the sense that you're, you're, you're through with having all these different options and all this wishful thinking, and you want to move forward in a passionate way towards something, um, you know, that would be wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. So that's, that's, you know, coming into play with what I found here, the three of pentacles, eight of pentacles in reverse and the hanged man. Sagittarius, there could be someone else around you who is suspended, who is isolating themselves um, right now, trying to reach enlightenment, not really taking many action steps, but speaking to others about it, trying to get advice on the situation because they're done being a player and they want to come after you. Okay. Moving forward, we have the six of wands in reverse. All right. So some sort of loss um, or some sort of situation in which you felt like you lost, but you haven't really, ah, with the Ace of Cups. So yeah, okay, so this was a loss. Um, pride and ego got in the way, and yeah, I just heard too much egotism spilled that cup all over the place, okay? Um, yeah, oof. There could have been a situation in the past, like with this person that's giving up the Seven of Cups energy here, um, they may have realized that their ego really got in the way and they missed out on a really good opportunity for um, emotional fulfillment and a new emotional start. Or they may feel like, someone may feel like they don't have this option anymore. Like they don't have this ability to I'm almost feeling like an energy, like they feel like, someone feels like they've been robbed of this Ace of Cups. And it has to do with their pride and their ego. Uh -huh. Moving forward, we have the Eight of Cups. So someone is walking away. I feel like that's this a, this Queen of Wands energy, whoever that is, with the Four of Swords in reverse. They're not, it's, they're not a suck up in their head about it. They're done, someone is done being um, meditative, um, has figured out what they want, and now, or taken a sufficient rest, and now they're walking away. And I really feel like that's this Queen of Wands energy. Okay. The Queen of Cups. 
coupled with the Five of Cups. Someone's feeling remorse and regret. And also with the Queen of Cups here, um, someone is not showing their emotions anymore or at all. Um, and that also is causing this Five of Cups energy. Okay, someone may, Sagittarius, you may have been expressing yourself quite a bit in the past and now you've stopped because the Queen of Cups can be someone that is holding on to their emotions, not really showing their emotions. I'm picking up that you could have been expressing yourself a lot in the past and now you've stopped, although you still are, you still have all these emotions. You stopped and now people can't see it anymore and someone is really upset about it. Or you're not showing your emotions uh, or someone is not showing their emotions because they're upset, because they're hurt, because they're depressed. And that would have to do with the Six of Wands and Ace of Cups in reverse, yeah? Moving forward, we have Five of Swords, Conflict, Eesh. with the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so this conflict is coming from imbalance. And I'm, I'm, I'm picking up uh, Ego again. Yeah. Five of Swords and, and Two of Pentacles. I mean, so there's there's an ego battle raging and it's imbalanced. Like it's it's not even necessary <laughs> is what the Two of Pentacles is saying. I mean, Five of Swords energy really isn't necessary most if not all the time, I'll say. Like I really can't even think of a situation in which Five of Swords energy is necessary unless there are aggressors out there and someone is having to defend themselves. But... With the two of pentacles here, it's like the two part the, the the parties involved with that with with this five of swords energy are just are feeding into it. E again, ego. Mm. Moving forward, we have the queen of pentacles. Lots of queen energy here. With the page of cups, so somebody. Uh, Sagittarius, this could be you, um, especially if you are identifying as the Queen of Wands, other than the fact that you're a fire sign. But if you're identifying with the energy of the Queen of Wands and even the Queen of Cups, because I feel like those are two that those are around are probably around the same people. Um, if, if this is also you too, um, someone sees you as like someone wants to come forward with a message of love to you. They really see you as a stable, grounded person ready to take on the world, ready to take care of the household, ready to take care of the family, ready to, to, ready to build a family. And someone is really like, I'm really feeling like some deep love coming from this page of cups towards this queen of pentacles. And it's interesting because this has fallen, this comes under the six of wands and the ace of cups in reverse. So what I was speaking about there, you know, when someone got let their ego and their pride get in the way and now they feel like they've missed out on this ace of cups, situation with you they really see you in a, a, a very different way now yeah moving forward we have the two of wands in reverse with the ten of wands in reverse yeah so releasing burdens which is also and when the two of wands came out i felt like it was connecting with the seven of cups in reverse as well but with the two of wands and the ten of wands in reverse releasing burdens which is causing a release of choosing like when someone drops all these wands, they realize that they don't really have to make a choice. They know which direction they want to go in. They know which path to take. They know which person to choose. They know what path, what they're passionate about. What's done is done. They don't have to worry about it anymore. Finally, we have the magician in reverse B with the chariot. Okay, so, um, and the chariot is upright. So someone has come to the realization or is in the process of coming to the realization that what they were manifesting is not what they truly wanted. And once they really get that message, like once they nail that down, they'll be moving quickly, very quickly towards what they want. Okay. This could be you, Sagittarius, because we were talking about there was some sort of new direction that you want to go in. You're trying to find some sort of um, enlightenment towards... Uh, work towards getting some sort of wish fulfillment for yourself. And if that's the case, if that's what you're resonating with here, then you have come to the realization that you were not manifesting what it is you wanted. Um, 
I feel like you may have even been manipulated into manifesting these types of things because like say it was what you were taught was right or something. Um, and so you've got, you've got yourself in this moment of, of suspension so that you can, you know, redefine things, get some enlightenment on the situation. And then once you have sufficient energies, I want to say, you will be moving forward. Yeah. All right. So let's get into some action oracle guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorn. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Yeah, that's kind of perfect. Definitely kind of perfect. Um, I mean, I want to say how it resonates, but I really feel like we all know how this is resonating for us or for you, because I'm not a I, this, this is, I'm not Sagittarius, but. <laughs> um, well, I do have Sagittarius is pretty heavily in my chart. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we get it. Okay, let's get some spiritual guidance from the Crystal and Dollar Guys now. Spiritual guidance, please. Best message for Sagittarius for this month of June. We have Acceptance, Archangel Aniel, and Pink Calcite. Ooh, here's a card so you can check it out. Acceptance. Beautiful card. Okay, acceptance. We bring the gift of acceptance. Rather than encouraging a situation to remain the same, the gift of acceptance empowers you to move through an experience, uncovering the opportunity for personal growth and, pers and spiritual development that may be at first hidden behind a challenging set of circumstances. Resistance prevents you from being able to see the truth and grow through the opportunities that life brings you. Acceptance is necessary for you to be present rather than in resistance. When you are present, you can see what is happening more realistically and you become able to respond with, to it with awareness. Then you shall grow and obtain more power and wisdom through that process, whilst you also become capable of receiving the divine assistance that will come to help you through any difficulty. Even if a situation seems challenging, your acceptance is the key to transforming it. It brings relief to your heart. It empowers you to take the step forward on your spiritual path that life is presenting to you. Through that step, new opportunities will arise. When you trust that no matter what appears to be, it is safe to trust that life is supporting you to manifest your divine potential, acceptance becomes easier and feels more natural and more joyful. I mean, hope and acceptance actually really go hand in hand here. And that's fantastic. All right, Sagittarius, so there it is. Thank you so much for joining me. Much love to you guys. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of July. Yeah, take care. Bye.